If you have strabismus, you've probably wondered if vision therapy is something that could work for you. It's definitely a hot topic right now in the strabismus community as something that might fix an eye turn without having to have surgery. The problem is that you've got all these professionals that give completely opposite opinions. You've got ophthalmologists who say vision therapy never works and it was a waste of time and money. Then you've got developmental optometrists who say, why would you ever have surgery when you can fix the cause of the problem with vision therapy and make the eyes straight naturally? And so at least people like us in the middle wondering who's right, what's the right answer, can vision therapy actually work? So in this video, I'm gonna go through a few different cases and different types of strabismus and talk about whether vision therapy is effective at you know, treating it or not. The, the truth is that it, sometimes it does work and sometimes it doesn't. It depends on the type of strabismus and so many different factors. So real quick, for just a couple quick definitions, strabismus can either, it just basically means that your eyes are not pointed in the same direction. So you either usually have exotropia, here's a picture, or you have esotropia. Here's a picture of that. There's a lot of different scenarios and situations where vision therapy is way more successful and quicker and easier and others where it's more difficult. So first we're gonna look at a child versus an adult. So if you take a young child, their visual system hasn't fully developed yet. And so they're a lot more flexible and pliable in their side of their brain. So when it comes to correcting amblyopia and strengthening another eye or teaching both eyes to work together, the brain is much more willing to latch onto that with a younger child. Is it possible with adults? Absolutely. I never saw 3D in my entire life. And after vision therapy, yes, I can now see 3D. I can pass stereo tests at the doctor's office. I'm not, it's not perfect and it's been really hard work, but it is possible just much easier for a child. Um, the second one is when you got strabismus. So if you were born with strabismus, that's called infantile, usually infantile esotropia is what infants are born with. And technically they're not born with it. It just develops really early within the first few months of life. That is a lot harder because in those, that first few months of life, that's when the brain figures out how to use both eyes. And it's really a critical period. They call it the critical period and it's true. <laughs> so for those cases, it's a lot harder without surgery. And I guess I shouldn't say every, but most cases of infantile esotropia are gonna require surgery at some point. Vision therapy still can completely help teach both eyes to work together so that they stay straight. But you know, I was born, here's a picture. So I was born with an eye turn of 55 diopters in. That is huge and very, very difficult to overcome with vision therapy alone. So even vision therapists will say, yes, those cases usually are gonna end up needing surgery. Now, on the other hand, if the strabismus didn't develop until a little bit later, maybe age one or two or even five, six, seven, those cases are a lot easier to treat because the brain usually has developed some sort of two-eyed vision early on. In, in those early formative years where the brain's developing all these connections, your brain was working and doing that. And so even if now your eye has turned out and you're completely suppressing one eye and you're only using one eye, relearning how to use both eyes is a lot easier than learning it for the first time, especially as an adult. So if it came on later, that's a lot easier than if it um, came on right when you were born. Um, the next is intermittent versus constant. So intermittent means that sometimes the eyes are straight, sometimes it's out. Sometimes it's straight, sometimes it's out. That would be if it was exotropia. Other times it's intermittent and it's going in and back and forth. And sometimes this will happen with kids just because the glass, they need a glass, they need glasses, a, a prescription that makes focusing up close easier or in the distance. There's a few different reasons. I'm not gonna go into why that eye turn is happening too much, but a lot of times just glasses can help that. And 
vision therapy can just make it kind of be the cement that holds it all together. And so in those cases when it's intermittent, almost never need surgery. Sometimes you do. I have one of my best friends is an adult who had surgery as a kid for intermittent exotropia and to this day her eyes are straight and are working really well together. So I'm not here to say that surgery is a horrible option and you should never do it for intermittent exotropia or isotropia, but almost always it can be completely fixed with just vision therapy because the eyes do know how to work together and stay straight. They just need to be strengthened and become more fine-tuned in their ability to stay that way. Um, on the other hand, if it's a constant esotropia or exotropia that never comes in, your eyes are never straight, that's again harder because the, the brain doesn't know how to use both eyes together, most likely. <laughs> or it's really, really, really out of practice at using both eyes. So those cases are gonna take longer. You know, instead of nine months to a year of vision therapy, it might take two years of vision therapy or three or who knows how long. So is it possible? Absolutely. Is it gonna take longer? Yes. And this kind of leads me to the next thing. If the eye turn is um, super severe, like what we call a large angle. So they say, my ophthalmologist says between 15 and 20 degrees, um, optoma optometrist may say something different, but it's within 15 degrees, it's much easier for you for you to fix your eye turn with, with vision therapy and no surgery. If the eye turns bigger than that, you know, 30, 35, that's where I was at. Those cases, even though I learned to straighten my eyes, to hold them there was felt impossible. And so surgery helped me to make it so my eyes were straight most of the time. And still, my eyes, I still have esotropia. If you're looking at me thinking, wondering, you know, are her eyes straight or not? I actually have an esotropia of about 12 degrees. So it's not as noticeable to the naked eye, but it still makes a difference. But vision therapy is definitely working because it's a lower angle. And um, another thing that, to consider is whether or not it's alternating from eye to eye. A lot of times when it's alternating from eye to eye, the one eye is looking, you know, sometimes your right eye is the one focusing, sometimes the left eye is focusing. Those cases are a little bit easier because there's more of a normal correspondence between what is straightforward for each eye. And so not always, but usually that's a little bit easier. And then lastly, if you have amblyopia or super low vision in one of your eyes, um, again, this is gonna matter if they're really, really young, it's gonna be a lot easier to get the acuity much better. For adults, it is it is harder, but it's possible. And your eyes can learn to work together through vision therapy. So if you're going through this and wondering what in the world are they even gonna do in vision therapy, vision therapy is going to be a series of tests, not tests, sorry, exercises and there are tests. Um, they Sometimes they use virtual reality. There's computer programs. There's special lenses. There's <laughs> prisms. There's all sorts of different exercises and things that they do to help teach your brain to use the information that's coming in through each eye. And as your brain learns to use that information from both eyes, it makes them want to be straight because straight eyes are eyes that are working together. And so vision therapy is a super powerful tool the more complicated the case with a constant large angle esotropia that's been there since birth, those more complicated cases a lot of times are going to require surgery and vision therapy combined to get the full binocular vision and eyes that are working perfectly and seamlessly together. But more simple cases that are lower angle or intermittent that came on later, those can be easily treated with vision therapy and I highly recommend you're doing that. If you want to know if your eyes are working well together, I have made a test that is available on my website. If you go to strabismussolutions.com slash test, and it's just a fun little test where you can kind of see, are both of my eyes already working together or is one eye stronger? Do I have 3D? So those are some fun tests that might help you gain more awareness. And if you want to know more details about like a specific diagnosis, like accommodative isotropia or intermittent exotropia. I have more details about each diagnosis on my website at strabismussolutions.com slash fix. So I hope you guys all learned something in this video and learned that 
Yes, vision therapy can definitely help treat strabismus, but sometimes when it's super severe, you are gonna require, it is gonna require surgery and be more difficult and time consuming. So it's been totally worth it for me. I recommend it 10 out of 10 because I love being able to see the world using both my eyes. So I know you will too, and I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you later.